You a genius. You a genius. You a genius. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've been shopping. Do you want to know what I got? Keep watching. Let me update your status. Because it's you that will change for you. Always make sure. I just want to be your favorite. I just want to be your favorite. I just want to be your favorite. welcome back I'm back I'm back I'm back so I have been shopping finally with some makeup I finally bought new makeup I haven't bought new makeup in a while what's a while maybe in the past six months so I've been watching a lot of B Marie I love her cut creases and I'm trying to get into that whole cut crease thing so She's always talking about the morph brushes that she uses, so I picked up some of the brushes that she recommended. Um, she didn't recommend this brush, but I love this brush because um, I have the M4, M349, something like that. But I picked up the M444 buffer brush. I actually used it, so it's dirty. I used it to do this get ready with me. If you haven't seen it, it's either before or after this video, so stay tuned. So this is the M444 brush. It's dense. This sucker is dense. The M439, I believe that's what it's called. I don't feel like getting up to look at the number. But it looks just like this. It's, I thought that was dense. But when I started using this, this just like pushes the product into your skin. Set it, baby. Set it and laid. I need to pick up the Huda Beauty um, primer. Because that's what I use under here. I got a sample from Sephora. Because I heard good things about it from B. Marie and other people. And that primer is amazing. So that's my next thing to buy. Probably will be in my next haul. I'm trying to get my hand on that Huda Beauty foundation. But the foundation that I'm about to show you. They said it's better. And it's $13. People will say $8.99. Where you live and can you send me a bottle? Cause it's $13.99 up in here. New York City ain't easy. So I have some more brushes to show you that are B. Marie recommended. So she recommended the brush. This is the M518. So I like this one if I'm going to be smoking out my outer V. Now this next brush is the Morph 513. But I don't know if you can tell, but the 518 is just a little taller. Okay, now for the star of the show, I love this brush right here. This is the Morph 504. Like, I can't, I don't know if you can tell, but she's so bomb. She's, she's densely packed. She's domed and she's fluffy. Like, I have not picked up my 224 since I bought this brush. It's so nice to just create that first transition and to blend everything out when you're done. Come on, hands down, amazing brushes. Now, I haven't used these two brushes yet, but this is the Morph M06. So, 506. So it's just a tiny little brush just for you to, you know, smoke out your outer V. But this is the R37. So this is kind of similar. This is similar to the 518, but I feel like this is bigger. So this more reminds me of a MAC 224. Now I have two more brushes left. 573. 
these brushes are kind of similar but the only things that are different is the hair shorter they're more denser they're a little more wider so I understand why she likes these brushes because it's a slight difference to each brush but it's gonna give you a slight difference when you're blending out your shadows so when I saw them I kind of was like they're all kind of similar but they're not so yeah and my last but not least this is the M447 so M447 So this is more domed. So I got a few drugstore finds that I've been reading about, seeing on YouTube about, and I really wanted to try them. So I'm like, just, just go ahead and do it. So I've been loving Maybelline and everything they have is 24 hours. So you know it's going to last. But yeah, I used this today to do my wing. It's my little baby wing. Nothing too crazy. But yeah, um, I saw a lot of people talking about this eyeliner and I finally got my hands on it. And it's nice. It's nice. It's creamy. It didn't stick. It's super black, which you always want in a liner. But yeah, this is a good liner. Um, I was going to put it in my kit, but I was just itching to use it. So it's mine now. So this next item, I'm obsessed with skincare. I always say it. If you know me, if you watch any of my videos, skincare has always been a must in my life. So I finally picked this up. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream for Extra Dry Skin with Hyaluronic Acid. My skin is combination, but I love hydration. I love to moisturize, especially under my full coverage matte foundations. So this is bomb. I mean, oh my God, I use this today in my Get Ready With Me and it just feels so, so good. So I feel like this is going to be a Maybelline haul, which is crazy. So I picked up the Master Fix by Face Studio. This is Maybelline. It's look, it says locks in your makeup wear boosting setting spray. And I used it today and the foundation is super matte I'm about to show you. And to me, this is more of a dewy finish. So matte and dewy, it just creates like a satin look. So that's why I'm not super dry looking. But I love this spray. I didn't like it with my other foundations because my other foundation was kind of dewy. And I didn't know it was going to give me a dewy effect until I used it. But this is bomb. Like if you have a matte foundation that you feel is too matte. The foundation I use is not too matte. But, you know, they are from the same brand. So I know that they were going to work together. So now for the star of the show. I love this foundation. This is what I'm wearing right now. Like I said, I filmed a Get Ready With Me with most of the products that you're going to be seeing in this haul. I use so that I can literally test it out and see if I really like it before I'm like, yay. Because if not, they're going back. <laughs> but this is the Maybelline. Oh my God. 24 hour full coverage super stay foundation. This is bomb. I got the color... Warm Coconut and Mocha. Okay, so since we're on this Maybelline thing. Maybelline. Maybelline is like near dear to my heart. I didn't know how good Maybelline was. I got the Loose Finishing Powder in 35 Deep just to set under my eyes. I forgot I had this because I would have used it to set my concealer. But I forgot. But it's all good. It's all good. So even though this is not a hair related video. I had to pick up some more got to be in the black one. I love this. No lie, I've been using just the free spray to hold my lace down. And it's been working for like a week. So I really believe it depends on how you keep it away from water. And you just tie it down properly. Because the spray lasted for about a week on my hair. And I didn't understand that. Everybody was like, get this. Which I do have this and I have the yellow one as well, but I don't even use this. I use it today to slick down my baby hairs. But other than that, I don't even look at this. I just use the free spray. So since I'm all about hydration, I had to pick these up. I went to CVS. I don't know if I mentioned where I got these products, but I got them at CVS. So it's a CVS haul, baby. Well, this portion anyway. So I got this Neutrogena Hydra Boost Hydrating Overnight Gel Mask with Hyaluronic Acid. Deeply hydrates for smooth, supple skin. It's a single mask, which is dope. So 
my next item is from L'Oreal. I had to break it up, man. I can't keep buying Maybelline. This is not sponsored. So, <laughs> I picked up the L'Oreal New Truer Color True Match in Cappuccino N8. And I swatched it. And it's a neutral color because I'm kind of neutral, but I'm kind of not. But this still has yellow tones in it. So, I picked it up and I tried it. And I think I like it. So I think I should be doing a first impressions video on this foundation and the NARS. So yeah, I think so. So, you know I love skincare. So I picked up the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water. I love this. Oh my God, like I will put this on my makeup wipes when they're getting a little dry. And this is a lightsaver. I don't really use it like on pads or any, like, you know, the facial pads or anything like that. I just spray it or pour it into my dry makeup wipes like in the bag massage it and call it a day so that the next time when i'm removing my makeup i know it's going to be all the way gone so yeah that's what i do that's my little tip when the wipes get a little dry do not throw them out just get you some micellar water it'll reactivate the cleansers within the wipe and you're good to go so you know i love skincare so i had to try this mask out I was in CVS having a full-blown conversation with the cosmetic girl, and she kept, like, recommending everything. Let me tell you something. If it's skincare or makeup, I'm there. Don't be square. So, she recommended the Burt's Bees Hydrating Sheet Mask. It instantly moisturizes and improves skin texture. It's one sheet. I cannot wait to try. I'll probably try this tonight when I wash my face. So my next item, you already know. If you are an OG on my channel, you should know what I always bronze with. Comment down below if you know what I bronze with. And I'll holler back. So this is the Ebony Bronze Bronzer by the Queen Collection. They changed their packaging. They changed their packaging. They're coming up. I'll see you, Queen Girl. Come, come, come on, girl. Mm -hmm. Queen Girl, let's I see you. Oh, oh, I see you. Okay, so this is my favorite bronzer of all time. So I've been looking at this. I've been hearing about it. I've been watching it on YouTube. I have to get it. This is the True Complexion Contour Palette. Bea Marie uses it all the time. I love that girl. She's so cute. I love her personality. I love her, like, everything. Her vibe, everything. And that is all I got from CVS. So now I'm going to go into the high end of the spectrum. So I'm going to show you what I got from MAC and Sephora. I don't know if I want to show you Sephora first, then MAC. I'll do the same. But I feel like I'll do MAC and then Sephora. So, yeah. And no, they are not. Mac and Sephora is not the same. Why do people aren't say they that? Run, aren't they ran by the same They're thing? They're not ran by the same nobody. Like no. Claire's and Eisen. They run by the same thing. Mac is a different entity. And so Sephora, they, they're, they're two different things. Which one's higher? Sephora. Sephora so, has like $60 foundation. So, is Sephora then Mac then Ulta? No, it's Ulta, Mac, then Sephora. I'm, in my opinion. I don't feel, I feel like Ulta is still kind of No, like from store. highest to lowest, what is it? Ulta, Mac, Sephora. Because Ulta does have. You just said Sephora is higher than Mac. So how is Mac before Sephora in your list? Exactly. No, I'm going Ulta, Mac, Sephora. Exactly. You said that after which one is higher. Ulta, Sephora. Mac, Sephora. How you doing? I said I'm, which one is higher before, I said which one is higher. Listen, I'm not a Mac film. I'm Sephora. filming. You're interrupting <laughs> my. <laughs> my process. Sit down and watch, okay? You just know you're right. I'm right. Back to the schedule program. No. I thought I was done with CVS. I really wasn't. I actually picked up this Lash Duo glue and I believe, oh this is, it dries clear. Okay, so I had this before but years ago. No. So now I'm going to go to Ulta. I don't really have much from Ulta. So I just have a tiny little bag this time. So, I didn't really get much, but I love Mario, but that's cool. So, I picked up the Glycolic Grapefruit Cleansing Lotion. And I also picked up the Mario Badescu Eye Gel. So, she told me I can use this as 
she as in the young lady who is the Mario Badescu rep that works inside of Ulta, she told me I can, you know, um, use this as a toner. So yeah, it says morning and evening after cleansing, apply to face with a cotton ball or pad, wiping in an upward motion, avoid eye contact. So yeah, I can use this as a toner because I really don't use toners. I have witch hazel and I rarely use that. So yeah. So my next few items are from MAC. You know I'm a girl who loves her MAC products forever and always. Forever and always. So I went to MAC on a few occasions and you know skincare has to be in my hauls regardless of what it is. If it's makeup we're going to have some skincare because she sits. So I had to pick up my tried and true. This is my first cleanser from MAC and it will always be my cleanser unless they discontinue it but don't get any ideas. This is the MAC Green Tea Gel Cleanser. So I don't know if you know but MAC has this little booth where you can get like mini lipsticks mini glosses, mini eye pigments, mascara, I believe they have um, a moisturizer and things like that. So this was $12. This is their In Extreme Dimension Mascara, but I don't know if you know, but they came out with colors and I didn't want them, but I wanted them. I'm kind of like that. I'll see something that's new and I don't want it and then after it's like gone, then I want it. So I got this mascara in hold for 10 it's like a blue so you know I love my fix plus so I had to pick up two 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 um I don't know it's I feel like for my clients they're bomb so I really picked this up for my clients this is really not gonna be mine I have one there that's halfway done but I don't know I feel like fix plus makes me really really oily and I used to love the charge water and I know that it's discontinued which sucks so also from Mac I picked up a new brush and this highlighter it's the hyper glow real highlighting quad no trio get yourself together Diana um, it's really really pretty I used it for the glow today and it comes in gold coasting get it glowing and rosy cheer I feel like these they're gold but then they're kind of pinky gold but it's all good. So I mixed these two colors today to give me the glow that you're seeing right now. And it's pretty. I like it a lot. Finally, Mac. Finally, you've come out with a highlighting kit that's actually cute. I might actually said that. And my last item from Mac is a brush. This is the 161S. Stands for Special Edition. So this is the brush. It's dirty because I just used it to contour and blend out my cream product. So yeah, I use the foundation stick that I didn't get to show you. I got this from Ulta. I forgot. But I got this from Ulta. This is the Anastasia foundation stick and I got it in Cool Earth. So I used that to contour today and I blended it out with this brush from MAC. I totally forgot all about this. I thought I got all my Ulta products in. Please forgive me. So I use it down the bridge of my nose and to contour the house of my cheek. It blended out really well. I feel like it complements my skin tone. It's not super dark. It's nice and cool toned because I feel like if I use a warm tone contour cream, it just muddies my foundation and it's just a waste of time. Also, I got a new concealer from Tarte in Deep. So that's what I used under my eyes and then I went on top of it with my LA Girl Pro Concealer. So I was running out of this and I needed to get a new one. I love the Tarte Shape Tape. It's a bomb base. I always use two concealers. So this is my base concealer and then I go on top of it with either my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer or I'll go on top with my LA Girl Pro Concealer. Most likely the LA Girl because it gives me a flawless finish these two together and that's what you're seeing today. That's what's giving me this bomb highlight that is not too bright. So my next items are from Sephora. You know your girl loves Sephora. So I had to pick up some things, man. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't really shop for makeup that often. Probably twice a year. I'll do, like, a good bulk of shopping. But then, you know, I got to pick up some new things. And then, girl, and then, girl. 
I wanted to get a new foundation before I found the Maybelline 24 hour stay slay save your life foundation I saw everybody talking about the new NARS foundation so this is the natural radiant long wear foundation is still in the box I'm going to do a review on this as well like I did for this foundation but I was looking for a new foundation and I just was like stressed and I saw make I, I bought it and then I saw a makeup doll talking about it and she I know she uses NC50 um, pro long wear foundation and she recommended getting the new Caledonia foundation so this is the foundation that I picked up I feel like it's a good match for me um, I tried it on in store and plus it just looks bomb so yeah I'm gonna do a review on this I cannot wait to try this foundation so anyway when I went to Sephora I remember that I needed my primers I I don't know like what it is about the Urban Decay original and the anti-aging I just love the anti-aging for under my eyes and I love the original for me to keep my eyebrows on because I do fill them in and you don't want to do all that work and then it fades because trust me my brows have faded and it's not a pretty picture so I picked up the original and the anti-aging primer only because this is the only primer that really really works on my eyebrows I've used the Becca to you know keep them on I've used elf I've used Too Faced <sighs> listen this is the only thing that keeps my brows on in place and non shiny like come through for these concealers so when I was there I'm a VIB Rouge so they're always trying to get you to spin your points so I said okay because they actually had something that I wanted which was the hourglass veil I've been trying to get my hands on this forever meaning I wanted to try it I could always pick it up it is what it is but I wanted to try it first it's nothing like getting a sample falling in love and then spending coin because at least you know it's worth it so this is the hourglass veil I got this sample size and when I was there and when I was there, they had Urban Decay as their sample, which was so funny. So she said to me, you sure you want to get this as a sample? I said, I love this so much. I do not mind buying it and getting a backup sample. It's a no-brainer. I go through this like water. So I got me a little sample too. So this past Sunday was Easter Sunday and I went to the mall on Saturday March 31st and I wanted to do some Easter shopping I don't go crazy for Easter Sunday yes I do go to church yes I watch Ten Commandments and all that stuff but I didn't go to church this year me and the fam stayed home and we watched Ten Commandments and just bonded and chill you know I had a low-key kind of Easter weekend which was cool which was cool I love low-key but I went to Sephora again, again, again. And I love skincare, like I said. So I've been hearing a bunch of good things about this brand. This is Ole Hendrickson. I saw people talking about this brand and I was like, I got to try it. I've never like really purchased a full size product before. So I said, you know what? I don't know what to really buy. So I picked this up. This is three makeup wonders. Truth, Transformation, and Nurture for all skin types. So the last two items I got from Sephora are the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Base Mattifying, Mattifying Primer. I wanted a mattifying primer for my other foundations that are not matte but are satin and I want it to last a little longer. And I'm feeling withdrawals because this is my last item. I wanted to use this item today and I totally forgot I had it. I'm so annoyed. And also I forgot to get the Amber Z highlighter. I don't really, I know a highlighter is a highlighter. But, you know, I wanted it because it's new. But, uh, it's, it's whatever. I got too much gold highlighters anyway. But I got the Cover Effects Custom Enhancing Drops. Because B. Marie uses this and I love her. I love her. I wanted to use this today and I could not remember I had this. B. Marie uses this under her foundation, just on the high points of her face, where she's going to highlight. 
and I picked this up and I didn't get to use it. I am so mad when I was going through the bag to get the stuff ready. I'm like, oh man. But this is in sunlight. They have moonlight, which is like a pinky gold. And then this is sunlight that it's like a gold. It's like a, a neutral gold. It's not too, too dark. But I can't wait to use this on my next tutorial because I totally forgot. So... I'm winding down my haul. When I went to Sephora, the girl gave me like a little goodie bag, which is so cute. That was so nice of her to give me like a little goodie bag. So I'm going to show you all the little things she got me. Well, gave me, excuse me. And then that'll be the end of my video. And I'm like, I want to keep showing you stuff. But I'm, I think I have a lot of makeup, a lot of skincare, and a lot of stuff. I can't have any more right now. So I'll just show you what was in the bag. She gave me a bunch of samples. Okay, I don't want my battery to die or my card to be filled up. So let me just do this really, really fast. So she gave me this Tarte blush in Parte. I probably just put this in my kit. So it's their Amazonian clay blushes. And it's, it's a pretty color, but it's way too light for me. This is a Allergens Anti-Asian Cream. Yeah, Biotechnology from San Francisco. I'm all about the skincare, so I will be trying this. Yes, Anti-Asian Cream. Why not? So she gave me a sample of this Beyond Perfection Super Concealer from Clinique. This I will be using today to clean my beauty blender. She gave me a sample of the Beauty Blender Cleanser. Blender Cleanser in liquid then she gave me a buxom big tees plumping mascara i love their plumping glosses but i don't have anything else from them she gave me this sample of the smashbox photo finish foundation primer i think this is an original the white one no the white one is a clear i'm not too sure but this is the white one then she gave me this glam glow sun glow glow starter mega illuminating moisturizer which is cool you use it you know use it under your foundation yeah it's cool then she gave me this Tarte Skin Care High Performance Naturals Tarte Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost. So it's a moisturizer, but I believe it's like a gel. And she also gave me this Josie Marin, the sample of the Argan Oil. Last but not least, because she gave me a whole bunch of samples. Shout out to you, girl. You the real MVP. The last thing is this Fresh... Umbrin Clay Purifying Mask? Umbrin? Umbrin? Deeply cleanses and purifies. So yes, this is a purifying mask. What about that skincare, girl? So that was the end of my Sephora portion of my haul. And she gave me a big old bag of goodies. Shouts to you, girl. But I feel sad now because there's no more makeup to show you. But I feel like I've showed you a lot of stuff. I've showed you a lot of stuff, and um, I think I got one more thing. So, I thought I was done, but I'm not. Maybelline come through. Maybelline is like clutch nowadays. So, I got this Maybelline Master Chrome, and I got it in the color Molten Gold. Yes, I got a lot of Maybelline stuff. Maybelline, Maybelline. Yeah, holla at your girl. Holla at your girl. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my haul. I wouldn't call this a massive haul, but staring at all this stuff in front of me, it's up there. It's up there. So I wanted to come on and just show you guys some of my new finds. It's spring. The weather is about to change. We want to be snatchy, snatched. And I'm ready. I'm ready. I feel like I have updated my foundation skincare got some tried and true staples and some new stuff that i want to try so i feel like i'm good i'm good right now so until my next video i'll see you guys later bye y'all Do you see this foundation and I did my hair nice this time? I'm getting better, right? Look.
And I'm getting like money, girl. What? Why y'all want you? <laughs> because I like it. It looks nice. You don't think it looks nice? You hear it? <laughs> Bye. It looks nice. Thank you. Bye. Can I see mommy? Can it look like? Oh, yeah. it's focusing! I'm gonna put it in the bloopers. Alright, bye. Add me on Snap. Samara2754. You already know. Why are you copying me? Girl, get out of here, bro! <laughs>